Warner for price fixing. It's still going after Vivendi for doing the same thing. That's all from the CTV NewsNet Business Center. I'm Ellen Besner. The business interview is next. Thanks. In case you haven't heard the term code red, it's a computer word that's infected computers around the world. And it's supposed to do its most damage tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. What does this mean? Well, Tim Argeson, a laboratory coordinator with CBL Data Recovery, is here to fill us in. And Tim, thank you, first of all, for being here. We've spoken with your dad. Your company is world-renowned. You actually knew about this worm almost before anybody else did. We got reports from our officers in China and Europe about the virus springing up on July 19th, uh, coming to grips again. And you call it a virus, but there is a real difference between a worm and a typical virus in that a virus needs somebody to activate it, a worm does not? The worm does not. This one simply emails itself out through your Windows address book. So what? Are we going to start to see a huge fallout from this at 8.01 p.m.? The, the fallout will be gradual, like a traffic jam, where when more cars get on the highway, it gently slows down. So we'll see more ramifications of this by morning? It's, it's hard to determine exactly when the effects will be found. It could be at 9 o'clock, it could be at 11, or it could be tomorrow morning. We're already, because of the time zone difference, we're already starting to see some effects of this, aren't we? We've gotten reports from our officers in Europe about some slowdowns that they have noticed. You know, it's not very often that we see a press conference from Washington, so many people on the stage, that we see the FBI heavily involved in something like this. Is, does this pose a national security problem? The threat is minimal. The only concern would be to computers being overloaded with information. I don't think a lot of people really can sort of wrap their brains around this. So what exactly, well, first of all, is it going to affect their home computers, or is this strictly targeted at businesses and government? It's targeted uh, directly at the White House. That's where the information packets will be sent. However, people themselves, their computers will be the ones sending out the information packets. So when something like this is targeted so specifically, is it politically motivated? Is it just somebody out there doing this for kicks because they can do it? Most worms and viruses are created just because people can do it. Do you think enough people have heard about this? I know that there is a Microsoft patch that you can download to actually fix this. And the word has been put out for a couple of days now. Do you think enough people have heard about this to help change the situation? I think uh, big business, uh, the ones with the big supercomputers, should have already installed the patch and the damage that we see will be minimal. Do you think the possible fallout from Code Red has been kind of overblown? It has because there is the availability of a fix. Uh, we won't see the problems necessarily as bad as they could have been. And you know, you mentioned uh, Sircan. It's another virus that, that is out there, and it may be even more potentially dangerous. Yeah, the Sircan virus has the potential to actually erase files from people's hard drives, and that will affect everything from business and home users. Wow, we'll have to watch for that one. Tim, thanks Definitely. so much. We'll be Thank back you. with more news of the day after this. Stay with us.